You know, I'm looking at a, a summary here, and I, I'm going to share this with you. It's so fascinating. 1980 guidelines focused on fat reduction, exactly what you said. It, it seemed like there was this saturated fat cholesterol to prevent heart disease. The low fat craze happened in 1992. Do you remember what happened in 1992? Food Guide Pyramid. Oh, yes. Uh, that seemed to be a disaster. The, the thinking was grains should form the base, 6 to 11 servings, and fats were placed as the top to be used sparingly. 90s to 2000, fat reconsidered, sugar and carbs came under scrutiny. Scrutiny. Then the USDA introduced my pyramid in 2005. From 2010 to now, and then of course 2011, the my the my plate came out, replaced the food guide pyramid with this way of visualizing a balance. The recommendation was. Uh, again, this is grouping the last, I don't know, 15 years. Healthy eating patterns, whatever that is, Mediterranean dash, plant-based emphasis, limiting added sugars and sodium. So this is 10% of daily calories. One thing that is so obviously missing here is where is the conversation about dietary protein? Those the, numbers haven't have not changed. Th there actually is a, a conversation that occurred with the current being developed guidelines that it will be out sometime in 2025. And I'm, I'm not really happy with the approach that was taken by the advisory committee, which are the university folks who are supposedly giving advice that the guidelines will follow. The guidelines don't always follow the advice from the, that committee. But there was a concept of ounce equivalents for carbohydrates developed. And that made perfect sense to me because you have something like a ready-to-eat dry cereal that might have 10% water in it. And you're comparing an ounce of bran flakes to an ounce of bread. 